What's up everyone? Welcome to your 45 minute butt and shoulders workout. It is all strength today, so make sure you're ready to work for 45 seconds, focusing on one body part at a time. So we'll have a glute exercise paired up with another glute exercise. Then our next superset will be all shoulders. So take your time, get good explosive reps, rest a couple seconds in between so we can make sure that we're really dynamic in these movements. Grab your water, your sweat towel, your bench if you have one, and your glute bands, and let's get started. All right, let's take your hips side to side and kind of stretch it out in the back of your glutes. Welcome to your workout. I'm gonna get you a good warm up in. We're gonna start with glute work and then we'll go to shoulders. Good. All right, hinge it straight back now. Really good stretch from all the way down at the heels up to the glutes. Reach down to your toes if you can. And if you are able, Bend and straighten. And when you straighten, try to drop your chest just a little bit lower. Three, two, last one. Good, kick the left leg back, right leg stays up. Open up your hips here, really important for glute work. Is your hip extension. So we really wanna get this hip stretched and open. Good, up and down with your hips now. When you push up, feel it in the hamstring of the front leg. Three, two, lift up and switch legs. All right, nice and long stretch. And when you get down here, you'll kind of feel where you need to stretch a little bit. Definitely the hip, but also maybe inner thigh. Also, maybe you can rotate your chest and your back around. Great job, up and down again, here we go. Three, two, and one. Come on up to standing. Cross your arms over your chest for six, five, four, three, two, and we're gonna start it with a single leg Romanian deadlift, okay? I would like for you to use both hands if you are able. So I'm gonna grab my 20s. We're keeping the left leg on the ground. Ready? Let's go. Down. And up. We spoke a little bit in the warm up about making sure these are explosive movements. So lower and then come up, bringing your hip forward with power. With power, there's definitely a need to recover a couple seconds in between reps. So I want you aiming for about 10. 12 reps in these 45 second work periods. No more than that. Four. And rest, good. Dumbbells down. Same thing with the other leg, that's exercise two. If you get to the point where you're doing 12, 15, 20 reps, I want you to go heavier and execute more powerfully. Okay, so you need that rest in between reps. Let's go. And remember, this is not about your chest coming back up, it's about your hip coming back forward. for the same thing two more rounds if you want you can prop your back foot up against the bench if you do that I still want power left leg we're back to you three two one let's go reach it back
Good focus, come on. 14, 13, 12. One more, four. Rest, all right. Other leg for round two, and then if you can go heavier for round three, I want you to do that. Ready? Four. Let's go. Okay, so take my breath away. Get a little closer and step by take my time, my money, my ease. Take it off from me till it ain't nothing left, okay? I got a brand new thing. Take me up, need a brand new silly. Said you can't do but man, you did it trying to live without you. Back as strong as your hip comes back forward. <sighs> nice work, 14. Just don't make me wait too much. Cause on the time I get tired, come reach out to me, take me higher. Four. <laughs> Rest. All right. Last round. If the foot on the bench isn't working for you for power, just drop it back down. Totally fine. Left leg, last round for you. Three, two, let's go. And I'm quite literally thinking hips go backwards and then I'm driving them back to meet where my dumbbells are. Okay, I'm not bending and then trying to stand up. I'm hinging and then power back forward. 12. <sighs> Two. <sighs> Rest. Okay, last one and then we move to shoulders. I think you're gonna like the glute work a lot today, so stay focused on good reps here. We've got 45 seconds, I need them to be powerful. Let's go. Good job. With the hip, you're bending, dig it in, Bring back to neutral. Nobody should be with their dumbbells behind them or their hips in front of everything. Good job, 12. Strong back, support the movement. One more, three. Good work, you got 30 seconds to rest. Shake your hands out, still focus on this strength part today. We're going shoulder press. Then you're gonna cut that weight in half. Shoulder press, pulse. All right, so regular, all the way down, all the way up, press. I'm gonna start with my 20s. Five, ready, three, two. Just a strict press. By the way, it's okay for your chest to open up just a little bit here, okay? So you don't have to be totally stacked and neutral on this one. You can open it up a little bit, as long as you're not arching more or arching with pressure. Meaning you're not sinking down and going, huh. okay? Core's in control, but you can open the ribs just a bit. Good, get your rhythm now, explode up. Four. Rest. Now I'm gonna cut that in half. I use 20s, I'm gonna use 10s or less. And we're pulsing halfway down, halfway up. If you wanna have a little fun, you can alternate. Okay, let's go. I'm just going ears, to right over top of my head. If you're alternating, don't let 
Shoulders and hips get closer to each other per side. Keep everything nice and neutral. Good, second half. That's it, you got 10 more seconds, come on, we can do it. Eight, seven. Rest, beautiful. Whew. Okay, round two, same thing. Two more rounds, if you wanna go heavier for your press, let's go. Six. Three. Good work. Three. Ah, oh, rest. Okay, this is a burner. This is a intentional and intentional burn because we're gonna move right on to legs after this. So let's pulse it out. You're doing good. No panic, all push. Let's go up, down. I think the worst thing you can do when it starts to hurt is panic. Oh my gosh, this is hard, this is hard, this is getting harder. Breathe, you're good. Okay, if you fail a rep, drop it down like you just saw me do. Lighten the load a little bit if you need to. Don't panic, just push. 20. There you go, 10, nine. Five, four. Rest. Oh gosh. One more round. Then our arms get a lovely break. All right, shoulder press, let's go. Three, two, one, up press. If you need to, you can alternate. Just get through. These 45 seconds with good breath, good reps. <sighs> nice work. <sighs> We're over halfway as of right now. <laughs> good job. <sighs> 14. Last couple, four, three. Duh, rest. Things might feel super heavy here, and it makes sense. Lots of tension, lots of time on the shoulder. Let's finish it out with a pulse, okay? Four, come on. Mentally, you're doing great. Let's go. Nobody's panicking. Everyone's saying, wow, I'm definitely gonna feel amazing after this workout. Keep it going, pulse, pulse, pulse. Second half. Good. You got 10, ready? All together, come on. Seven, six. Two, one. Amazing job, be very proud of yourself there. That one is not easy, but you're strong and you're only getting stronger by being here. Grab water. We're going lateral lunge, glider, and then curtsy lunges. So you can move your bench out of the way. Oh. All right, I'm just gonna hold one dumbbell for my lateral lunge, glider. The focus is sitting back into the bent leg, 
glute. Ready? Let's go. So I like to tap my dumbbell back by my heel so that I'm not just sitting here, but I am reaching this hip back. Good job, and the more you can create this stretch around your glute, the more you're gonna utilize it. Yes, you're gonna utilize quad as well, but if we can sit it back and really stretch and fold. Four. Rest, then we're gonna get really great glute engagement. Curtsy lunge, pulse. It's here, you don't have to do the pulse if you wanna just rock into it. Another modification, just regular, Reverse lunges. Ready? Let's go. And as you pulse, actively drive your knee away from the middle of your body. Knee out, heel down. Seven. Rest, good job. And if you lose balance on that one, totally fine. Just come right back into it. Back to that lunge glider. Remember, back and down. Three, let's go. Second half, if you want, pause a little less at the top here, tap and go. Good job, six. If you're tapping and going, back is strong. Rest. Good job, very focused glute work here. So, breathe deep in your rest. I recommend loading these dumbbells up here. Two, one, come on. There you go. Core is strong, and think about everything supporting your spine. Heel is pushed into the floor so hard to activate the glute, but everything else is actively protecting your spine. 10. One more, let's go three. Good work. Okay, last round of both. I like this very focused superset here. Gives you time to really make sure you're getting a good stretch. Utilize that glute to get up. Last round here. Let's go. Second half. Sit, 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 and push with your heel. Ten. Six, five. Rest. Okay. Last round, curtsy pulses. Hips are focused straight ahead. 
Sitting in the front heel. Let's go. Nice job. We're breathing together. Core strong and stacked. Nice work. 12. Yes, good job. Five, four. Good, step right over. Let's finish right here. Two, one. Good job. 30 seconds to rest. Grab water. Uh, actually, keeping the light dumbbells out. Lateral raise. So we're gonna have just a slight variation on this one. Here's your straight out lateral raise, just slightly in front of your body. Then we're gonna take it just a little bit forward. So you think 45, lateral. 45, lateral. Just a couple inch variation. Let's go. Second half, good work. Lower, slowly, 10, nine. Last one, good job. Front raises with a flip now. So you're gonna take it out with your palms facing your legs. Lift, flip, lower, right past your legs. Four, you're doing great. Two, one, exhale, lift, flip, bring it back down here. So I don't want you slamming on your thighs, I want you stopping right here. Good, the intentionality behind the leg stop is that you control the eccentric. Power it up if you can. And then slow to lower. Seven. Two. Rest, drop it down, rest your hands. Good job. And we're back to the laterals. We'll call that one lateral and then just a little bit forward. Two, one, let's get it. Why the variation here? It's just a little switch up, okay? Just your brain thinking, okay, this is different. We're lasting for 45 seconds but we're still using lateral delt. When we bring it just a little bit more forward, we incorporate just a touch of anterior delt. But still focusing on the primary mover being lateral delt. Come on. Eight. Two, one, rest. Front, flip, and stop. Okay, you're doing wonderful. Proud of you. Come on, two, one, up, rotate, stop it. Good job. Great strength focus today. Nineteen. One more. 
Up, up two. Ah, rest. Okay, last round here. If you start to fail on these reps, I just want you to go alternating, okay? Don't drop down yet. Just try and rest one arm for a smidge longer. Two, one, come on. I'm breathing actively so you can hear that, so you can do that too. Ten, nine. Four. Come on, lift and do what you can. Three, two, rest. Last one here, and then we're headed down to the floor. <laughs> All right, you're doing amazing. Same thing on this one. If you start to fail, alternate or just give me whatever you've got left, even if it's a small lift. Come on. Caught myself not breathing. <sighs> Let's go. Last half right here. <sighs> Whatever you've got. Ten, nine. <sighs> One more. Three. <sighs> Rest for 30. Good job, and we're headed back to the glutes. Grab your heavy glute band and a heavy dumbbell for glute bridges. Headed down to the floor. All right, first one, you're gonna go glute bridge banded, a little abduction at the top, and then lower. All right, seven seconds. Three. And we're off. Good, lift, drive out, then lower with that drive still active. Good job. Second half, go. Two, one, rest, good job. Now we're gonna drop the dumbbell off. Glute bridge pulses. So you're up and you're abducted, okay? And we're gonna stay out as you lift your glutes up and down, up and down. Two, let's go. Good job, and if this isn't burning, scoot your feet out just a bit further, and then keep your knees over your ankles. Good job, dropping about halfway. Good work, stay here, nine, eight, seven, Knees out and rest. Good job, throw the dumbbell back on and we're back to the glute bridge with the abduction at the top. You're doing great, breathe. And we're up, let's go.
Nice, 15. One more, four. Rest, dumbbell off. Good job. All right, lift the hips. Keep the glutes tucked under, by the way. Don't let your belly button start reaching up. Keep it neutral. And let's go. Up, tucked, and we bridge out. Keep them out, keep them out. Good, if your legs are too far away, you'll feel very toey, like you can lift your heels up and nothing changes, right? If your legs are too close, you'll probably feel like you can't get all the way up into hip extension, okay? Hips will still be bent just a little bit. So 90 degrees when you're up at the top here. Four, three, rest. Whew. One more round. Grab the weights. If you want to go heavier, go for it. You're doing amazing. Ready? Exhale as you go up, drive out. Two, one. Great work, 15. One more powerful lift, three. Rest, good. Last one, lift, keep it lifted and pulse it out. Ready? Then we'll go back to shoulders, so take advantage. This is a good time. <laughs> Two, one, and up. Good job. Down, down, up, up. Keep your knees away from each other. Come on. Eleven, ten. Drive it out, drive it out. Three, two, one, and rest for 30. Good work. All right, we're gonna keep the weight for our shoulder circuit up next, uh, relatively light as well. We've got a shoulder circuit and a glute circuit left. That's it, okay? So stay focused, you're doing great. I'm gonna use my tens. We're going rear delt flies. Okay, little hinge. And you're gonna think neutral and then pinky drive. Hitting right here. Let's go. Nice work, 15. I like to kind of think about hooking my elbow back. Three. Rest, next one can be this weight or a little bit lighter. We're gonna start, palms supinated. We're going here, overhead, back down, okay? Try it with this weight. If you need to drop, you got 45 seconds. So you can do it. Let's go.
Good, one rep at a time. Three, two, one, rest. <sighs> okay, back to the rear delt flies. <sighs> Four, neutral to hook, right here. This is as high as you should go. Let's go. Yes, it's gonna feel very similar to a back fly, but instead of coming all the way open with my chest completely open here, I'm gonna keep it neutral and just hook right here. This is it, okay? I don't need a full flex in the back. Three. Rest. And we've talked previously about helper muscles. You will use your back muscles there, but it shouldn't be that you're doing a full row, okay? Just a hook. <sighs> Ready? Circle it up, palms face me, and go. And if you can bring them out in front of you just a little bit, I can definitely feel a better connection there with my shoulders. Nice work, definitely a power move, right? Using the whole shoulder cap in this superset. 12, 11. Three, good job, two, rest. Okay, one more round, rear delt flies. And then we're headed for the glute finisher. Ready? Two, one, hinge and hook. There you go, keep it wide when you lower two. Last 10. Three. Oh, rest. Whew. All right, shoulders, we're almost done with you. <laughs> Five seconds. Last circle up. Ready? Two, one. Good job, second half. See if you can keep the dumbbells moving for the last 15. Let's go. Up, two, down, two, go. Up, two, come on, seven, six. Up one more time together. Four, three, lower, two, one, rest. Good job. Grab water and grab your medium or light glute resistance band or whatever band you wanna do a fire hydrant with. Okay, whatever band strength that is for you, go ahead and grab it. All right, fire hydrants on the ground. Here we go. Three, two, one. So just go. 
Great job. Second half. Ten. Three, two, one. Good job. Next round, you're gonna go two per side. So lift, lift, switch. Lift, lift, switch. Okay. And you don't have to pulse it. You can do full range of motion. Down, up, down, then the other side. And when you're lifting the leg to the side, yes, the leg on the ground will be working, but I want you to really focus on that squeeze at the top of the lifting leg. One side might feel easier to connect with. Work harder on the other side to feel that too. And it might mean slowing it down. It might mean lightening this resistance up. Seven. Three, two, one. Last exercise, we're gonna do an abduction here. Okay, so Superman or Superman on the bench you're still driving your legs out, okay? Lift your legs up, then out, then come back down. You can do it on the bench or on the floor. Let's go. Eight, good job. Four. Rest. Good job. We're gonna go same thing here. Lift, go out twice, then back down. Okay? Up, out, out, down. Two, one, come on. Good work. Lift it up. Squeeze, squeeze. You're almost there. 20. Come on. If you can, lift it up and stay up and then just go out. Out for 12. 11 more pulses. 10, 9, 8, 4. And rest. You have made it to your cool down. Amazing job. Wherever you're at, go ahead and stand up, letting that band fall down to the floor and off your feet. Good job. As you're standing, gentle push forward on your hips. Don't forget, make sure you're subscribed to the channel before you leave and give the video a thumbs up. And then as always, comment that you crushed it, that you're here and your favorite circuit if you want then comment to your teammate right above you and tell them they did a great job and you're proud of them. Because everyone needs to hear it every day, especially on the days where you show up when you don't want to and it's hard. Cross your arms over. You did great today. I love this strength format. I love focusing on one muscle group at a time because I know you feel that connection really well. And in a month like this month of training, wherever you're at in the week, or in your month or in your program, or if you're just hitting this on a random day. I love the connection that I hope you got out of this workout today. Hands up and pull. <sighs> Strength for sure, but the heart rate was up. We got a little sweat on maybe. I know we all sweat differently. <sighs> Switch and pull.
Great job. Nice wide stance, hands on your hips, send them back. Feel the weight shift into your heels. Good job. Thank you for sticking around for the cool down. Okay, as you bend your legs, come into a squat position and just drive your knees out a touch, stretching the inner thighs. And when you leave here, actively be about the next move supporting this workout. Okay, stand, stand, stand. Whether that is good nutrition, it's staying moving, not falling down onto the floor or onto the couch and then staying there for a while. I know that's easy, I've done it too. Something that's helped me post-workout, the team will actually put on music post-workout here in the studio to kind of keep me hype and keep me rolling so I don't just lay down and think, oh my gosh, I'm so tired. Maybe I am, I worked really hard, but I'm gonna keep the energy up, I'm gonna get some food, and I'm gonna make the rest of my day productive. So maybe that would help you get some music, call a friend, something that will keep your energy up so that you can keep doing the things that support this workout and support your best life becoming your current life. I will see you back here for our next workout. Great job today. Be proud of yourself and let's keep it moving. Bye everyone.